Hey everyone, and welcome back to the G Witch channel. I'm sitting here, and it's really late. It's about 1.30 a.m. in the morning here, Eastern Standard Time. And I'm just pondering and thinking, you know, with this pandemic, how we all have, have to wear a mask. And just recently they said, oh, if you have your vaccinations, if you're fully vaccinated, you can stop wearing your mask. Well, first of all, how will they even know if people have been vaccinated? So people who decide to not get vaccinated and not wear their mask, no one's going to know. So I feel like we all should still be wearing a mask for at least pretty much a while. I plan on wearing my mask. So being vaccinated or not, I feel like you should still wear your mask because they say you can still get sick even if you're fully vaccinated. But that's a little bit off the topic. So back to the topic. I was thinking about masks and the masks that people wear. The masks that we put on, the veils, the fronts. That's what we call it. We're front, we're fronting, we're acting, we're posing as someone that we aren't. Some of us, we do it purposely. Some of us don't even realize that we are wearing a mask. And what wearing a mask to me means it's having a wall up, a guard up, you know, shielding yourself from others, be it, you know, the reasons being, you know, you don't want to get hurt, you don't want to be, you know, found out, you don't want to be vulnerable. Um, some people, you know, are bad people and... They wear a mask and they act like they're like good people to manipulate and to fool the real good people into doing something, be it relationships or scam, scamming them out of some money, things like that. You all get the picture. But we all wear a mask of sorts. And during this pandemic with us all wearing these masks on our face, on our faces, I just thought about that. I was like, we all wear masks. Even when we don't have physical, the physical mask on, we all at some point wear a mask. And it's just crazy because we can all wear a different mask. When we go to work, we have on a mask. When we get home, you know, that's mostly the time where we can like take the mask off. But when we go to school, we have a mask on. When we go to the grocery store, we have a mask on. When we make friends or um, get into relationships and make acquaintance, acquaintances, we all have this mask on. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a scary mask. You know, I realize that scary masks in the real world are usually shielded by happy mask so and i'm just rambling here about masks it's just crazy i'm just thinking about masks in general and even like good people people who've been hurt vulnerable people walk around with a serious face or an evil face to keep people away they, they're still wearing a mask and in order for us to get past a mask and get to know a person for themselves and for who they are, we have to take time. We have to be patient, you know? And I find like with relationships, and I'm all over the place tonight, you guys. It's late. Um, I just finished recording, but I wanted to, you know, just come on here and talk to you guys because I haven't been on here really talking to you guys in a while and you all will find out soon why i have a couple of videos that's coming up that's gonna let you all know what i've been doing but 
back to the relationship parts and the mask. When you meet a person and you want to date them or you start dating them, you have to know that you have a mask on. So you have to know that this person is possibly wearing a mask. Your mask is, oh, I have this wall up. I'm not going to tell them, you know, all my business. When you meet a person, you're not going to sit there and tell them your whole life story and or every everything. You're not going to tell them everything. And if you're smart, you're not going to let them come to your house. You're not going to let them meet you at your home. You're not going to tell them your address or your social security number. You're not going to tell them these things, right? They're thinking the same thing. So people are, you know, keeping certain things to themselves. When it's a bad person, they're not going to tell you they're a bad person. You know, they're going to wear a mask. They're going to be happy. They're going to be friendly. And they may do this for weeks, male or female. They'll do this for weeks, for months, until you let your guard down. So you have to be patient. When we hop into these relationships with people and these strong friendships with people and we're being trusting of people, you have to know, like, the time limit that people wear a mask. You know, the time limit is probably about a year or more. People can wear a mask until they feel, you know, like they got you. So just be careful out there. It's just no advice. I didn't have any point or, um, or anything really that I was, I didn't have any one specific subject that I wanted to talk to you guys tonight in this video it was just something on my heart about just being aware of the mask that people wear all of us you know and just be careful out here um people crazy out here oh and also be careful on social media you know people are meeting these crazy people places and trusting them and then they're ending up dead and kidnapped and young girls, if you hear this message, be careful meeting people online and going places with people and meeting people and going up to people's cars or anything going alone. It's a lot of human trafficking and sex trafficking going on. It's real and it's dangerous. And if you're on social media, be careful of the scam artists. I see a lot of scammers on Instagram, Forex traders and Bitcoin traders, investing and et cetera, et cetera. Never give out your personal information, your finance information or your social. No one's ever going to call you or message you or DM you or inbox you and ask you for your social security number, your bank information, your birth dates. No one's ever going to call you or email you or contact you and request that you give them that information. So be careful when you see those scammers on Instagram and they might have a picture that looks like your aunt or your uncle happened to me, someone posing as my aunt, and I noticed the way they were, you know, typing. It didn't sound like my aunt. So it was a hacker. And it was crazy because my aunt is not someone who needs money. And this person was posing as my aunt asking, could they borrow money? And could I buy them some gift cards and send them the number through email? Be careful, you guys. I'm here on this channel to tell ghost stories and scary stories and talk about all the things scary and, you know, phobias and things like that. But humans and real people are more scary than the ghosts. Sometimes real life is scarier than the ghost stories that I tell you. So be careful out there. And that's all I have for you all tonight. 
If you haven't, like, shared, and subscribed, especially subscribe and hit the bell to my channel. Please do. It's important. I've been here on YouTube for three months now, and I'm trying to grow my channel, and it is, it is a challenge. It isn't easy. So, you know, not just for me, but for any content creator you see on YouTube that you actually like and you learned something from or you laughed or anything. If you got anything from their video, like it, share it. And if you like that content creator enough, subscribe to their channel. It's very important. If you see this channel and this message, please like, share with five of your friends my channel i would really appreciate it and comment below and let me know that you're here say hi if you have a channel that you want me to you know check out let me know down in the comments be safe out there y'all